Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is Danny. Jasmine and Alex cover the ropes from the pilot's perspective in the airship. But we're here to show you the ropes from installation and robot perspectives. Each rope is suspended from a davit. They're equally spaced around the airship. One davit extends from the center of the railing closest and parallel to the Alliance wall. The other two are 120 degrees away. If you choose to bring your own rope, make sure you read the game manual carefully about what you can and can't do. You'll want to make sure your retention knot is solid so the rope remains installed while your robot climbs it. Regardless of if you're using a field rope or your own rope, all ropes pass through the center of the touchpad and must be coiled and stowed before the match starts. The field knows if a robot's ready for takeoff if it's triggered the touchpad. The piece of the touchpad which the robot interacts with is a horizontal polycarbonate plate that's 4 feet 10 inches off the floor. The plate must be pressed for at least one continuous second and while the match timer hits zero. It takes about three pounds of force to move the plate and has to be displaced by at least a half inch in order to trigger one of the sensors, with an additional one inch of travel. The other important piece of the touchpad is the light because it communicates information. When there's 30 seconds left in the match, the light blinks. Also, if a robot's doing all the right things to actuate any of the sensors, the light will turn on and the associated points will be added to the Alliance's score. We need to be really clear though, just because the light's on doesn't mean those points are guaranteed. If the robot were to let go of the plate before the end of the match, the light will turn off and the points will disappear from the Alliance's score. Way to end our video, Danny Downer.